Hello students of class 6. In this video, we will study about the keywords of unit 8, body movements. Our first keyword is backbone. It is also known as the spine. It is, it consists of a series of 33 vertebrae that runs from the neck to the hips. As you can see in the figure, it consists of 33 vertebrae. It runs from neck to hips. Its job is to support the body. Our next keyword is muscles. Muscles are the tissues that help in the movement of bones. When a muscle contracts, it pulls the bones, making the movement possible. Our next keyword is ball and socket joint. When the round end of a bone fits in the cavity of another bone to form a joint, it can freely move in all directions. Such a joint is called ball and socket joint. Our next keyword is outer skeleton. Some animals have this skeletal structure outside their body. To protect and support them, this structure is known as outer skeleton. For example, cockroaches, snails and turtles, they are having outer skeleton. Our next keyword is bristles. Short and the chief hair-like structures that some animals such as earthworms they use for gripping while movement. These are called the bristles. For example, as you can see in the figure, earthworm is having the small hair-like structures. They use for the movement. These are called the bristles. Our next keyword is pelvic bones. Pelvic bones enclose the body below the stomach. They help us to sit. Our next keyword is cartilage. Cartilages are soft connective tissues. They can be found in the upper parts of the ear. So cartilages are the very soft and they are the connective tissues that are found in our ears. Our next keyword is pivotal joint. The cylindrical bone that rotates in a ring and gives the excess mo to motion in only one direction. This kind of joint is known as pivotal joint. It can be found where our neck joins our head. As you can see in this figure, wherever our neck joins the head, that joint is called the pivotal joint. Our next keyword is cavity, a hollow space where another bone can fit in order to form a joint is called a cavity. Ribcage, ribcages are curiously bent bones that join the chest bone and the backbone together to make a box like structure. Humans have 24 ribs that are arranged in a 12 pairs. As you can see in this figure, there are 12 pairs of ribs. They are also responsible for the protection of heart because heart is protected in the inside the rib cage. Our next keyword is fixed joint. Some bones in our body do not move. These bones are joined by a fixed joint. For example, the skull has many fixed joints, so they cannot move, that bones that which cannot move, they are called as fixed joint. Our next keyword is shoulder bones. The prominent bones on our back near the shoulders are called the shoulder bones. They are connected by a ball and socket joint. Our next keyword is gait of animals. The manner in which an animal moves its body in order to go from one place to another 
is called its gait. For example, you, dog walks on its four limbs, and a snake slithers its body. So, gait means in which manner the animal moves its body from one place to another. That is called the gait of the animals. Our next keyword is skeleton. Skeleton is a basic structure of body that is formed by bones, joints and cartilages. As you can see in this figure, the human skeleton is given. It gives a frame to the body and it helps in protecting the vital organs such as the brain. So brain is also protected inside the skeleton. Our next keyword is hinge joint. Joints that allow the movement only in the back and forth direction. They are called the hinge joints. For example, elbow joint is a hinge joint because it moves only in the two directions that is back and the forth direction. So it is called the hinge joint. Our next keyword is streamline. The shape in which the front and the end of the body are thinner. As you can see in the figure, the front and the back of the fish are thinner than in the middle. So it is called the streamline. The body is shaped at both the ends. Fish has a streamlined body to help it cut through water while swimming. So streamline means it is having the shape of that is thinner in front and back and in the middle it is thick so it is called the streamline shape so our keywords get completed here thank you for listening okay